Sean Hannity thought he was being cute, and he went after Jon Stewart for mocking his spring break coverage. Bad idea, buddy. <clears throat> Remind people of what we took when we started our coverage. Yes! America's oldest hall monitor, Sean Hannity. <laughs> Dedicated not one, not two, but five different shows on the horrors of spring break, including the entire hour on Friday, featuring a panel of outrage experts there to expose this annual event. Drinking, we got you will believe what they found because you know. Drinking, drugs, risky behavior, sometimes with tragic results. <laughs> Shortly after filming that piece, that young woman blew out her left butt cheek. Some of the more skeptical viewers might think this is uh, less of a news story and more of a reason to spend a week running wildly inappropriate TNA footage alongside pundits tisking said footage. But you'd only be 99.9% .9 right. Well, of course, he's a sanctimonious jackass. Uh, he hasn't commented since the seven people were shot, the two gang rapes in broad daylight, which happened after our coverage this year. As a matter of fact, the Friday night when we finished our coverage, that was the night seven people got shot. Yeah, we finished the coverage, and when, every, when the seven people were shot, that's when city council really took a closer look at this, and then the sheriff released that video of someone being gang raped in the middle of the day on the beach with people around and it was so obvious that what's going on down there needs to stop and you've been there now two years in a row do you think this is enough does this do it or are they just got a pregame and drink before they go to the beach you know what i'm just so proud of city council for at least taking a stand and, and listening to the residents because when we were there last year the residents, many of them were divided. When we were there this year, so many people came up to me and said, thank you so much. Tell Sean, thank you for covering this, mm -hmm. because we need to see changes. But everywhere on the beach, you smell pot. Everywhere oh, yeah. you went. Okay, first of all, I don't care about the pot, and the fact that you do says a lot about your intelligence. Second of all, Sean, the problem isn't that you covered a gang rape and some shootings. The problem is that you only covered it because it happened at spring break. If there was a gang rape or a shooting in any other context, you wouldn't have covered it at all. You wouldn't have even thought to cover it. You're only covering it because it's at spring break. And we all know that the bulk of his week-long coverage was to be America's puritanical asshole dad. That's what he was doing. He was playing that role. But notice here, he covered shootings at spring break. Interesting. How many of the 32,000 gun deaths that happen in America every single year did he cover? How many of those did he cover? I can't hear. I hear crickets. Why do I hear crickets? Oh, I know why I hear crickets. Because you didn't cover any of them. Or you covered only the highest of the high-profile ones. Or ones that you think you could blame on, you know, liberals or black people or something like that. That's the thing. The problem is... If you covered all of those, if you were being objective in your coverage and you covered, let's say, a lot of those 32,000 gun deaths, you might have to conclude, maybe we should do some gun reform like universal background checks. But you can't do that because you have to avoid the logical conclusions because it flies in the face of your ideology. But see, to bash spring break doesn't fly in the face of your ideology. That's right in line with your ideology, which is why you covered the spring break and why you can bring up the shootings that occurred there. But only there. You can't bring up shootings anywhere else. And also, dude, if you're so concerned about people getting hurt, as apparently you were while covering spring break, uh, did you cover this, Sean? Quote, 41 men targeted in the drone program in Pakistan, but 1,147 men killed. And actually, not just men, women too, and children. A grandma killed picking vegetables, uh, a wedding uh, procession that was obliterated by drones, women and children killed at a funeral. You're so concerned about people getting hurt. Did you cover those people getting hurt? Oh, no, you didn't again, because, see, to cover that would mean you would have to discuss the drone program and about how we kill civilians overseas sometimes, and maybe we're not doing the right thing when it comes to foreign policy, and we shouldn't be right-wing assholes.